Culvert has a strong dipole magnetic field and that prevents water from being uh, lost from the earth, also protects us from the deadly radiation from both the sun and cosmic rays. And these reversals that we've been hearing about, they've happened several hundred times. Something weird is going on with the Earth's magnetic field. Over the last 200 years, it has significantly weakened and relocated its magnetic North Pole from the Canadian Arctic to Siberia. But in the last few decades, the slow migration south has sped up, reaching speeds of up to 30 miles each year. Could we be close to a geomagnetic reversal where the North and South magnetic poles switch places? What is making the Earth's poles flip? What are the consequences and how can you deal with them? In this video, we talk about the phenomenon of Earth's poles switching places, which worries a lot of people because it's happening right now. The Earth's magnetic field comes from the flow of molten iron in the planet's core, which is about 1800 miles below our feet. This very hot liquid makes electric currents, which leads to the formation of electromagnetic fields. Even though we don't know much about how pole reversal happens, computer models of planetary dynamics show that they happen on their own. Observations of the Sun's magnetic field, which changes direction every 11 years, back this up. At least 4 billion years ago, our magnetic field began to form. Since then, the Earth's magnetic poles have switched places many times. In the last 2.6 million years, the magnetic field has changed 10 times. The last time was 780,000 years ago, so some experts think we're due for another. But reversals are neither regular nor easy to plan for. In fact, the Earth's magnetic field is a tangled mess of loops of magnetic energy that twist and turn around each other. It doesn't stand still for long. It likes that its life is always changing, and a weak spot over the southern Atlantic Ocean has been getting weaker recently, which could mean that a global magnetic reversal event is starting true north. If you live in the northern hemisphere of the Earth and take out your trusted scouting compass or just your cell phone, you'll see an arrow pointing north. This is helpful if you're lost and alone in the woods or trying to find your way to the nearest coffee shop, but your compass's north doesn't actually point to the North Pole. You know, where Santa Claus lives and all that. Instead, it points in the general direction of northern Canada's vast Arctic plains. Why? Because the magnetic field of the Earth is strongest there in this part of the world. There are strong parts, but there are also weak parts, like the one in the middle of nowhere in the Atlantic Ocean, between South America and Africa. Even though the name of the area, the South Atlantic Anomaly, sounds cool, no planes have gone missing or UFOs have been seen there. It's just a spot where the magnetic field isn't as strong. Weak spots. But here's something even stranger. That weak spot is getting weaker and splitting in half. What's behind this weird change? To explain, we have to dig deep, as in, all the way to the center of our planet. There, our core is a big ball of super hot molten iron that spins crazily fast, like an out of control carnival ride. The Earth's magnetic field is powered by the spinning, chaotic core. Scientists call this a dynamo action, but we can just say spinning hot thing that makes big magnetic fields. So the strong spots and hot spots in the magnetic field aren't caused by things happening on the surface of the Earth. Instead, they are caused by all the crazy, chaotic, and complicated things going on in the core. This means that if we look at how the Earth's magnetic field moves, we can get an idea of what is going on in the core, which is cool because we can't drill a 4,000 mile long tunnel ourselves to take a look. The European Space Agency's Swarm Mission satellites are designed to do just that. By keeping an eye on the magnetic activity all the time, we can learn more about what our planet's core is doing when we aren't looking, and hence, South Atlantic Anomaly. Since 2013, the anomaly has been weakening and has even started to split into two separate areas with the least magnetic energy. Scientists don't know what's going to happen next. The split could go away and no one would know, or it could stay that way, or it could be a sign that the Earth's magnetic field is about to do one of its favorite tricks, turn off completely and come back on with the poles switched. No matter what, it doesn't pose much of a threat to us people who live on the surface. We can trust our atmosphere to keep us safe from any dangerous radiation from space, but orbiting satellites can run into trouble if our magnetic field isn't there to protect them. For example, the South Atlantic anomaly is already a place to avoid because the lack of magnetic protection causes some problems with our satellite's delicate hardware. So, if you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, you should go somewhere else. Also, at the top of the world, strange things are happening. The movement of liquid iron inside the Earth's core is pushing the North Magnetic Pole 
away from Canada and towards Siberia. Since the magnetic pole is moving so quickly, geomagnetism experts around the world had to do something unusual. Scientists updated the world magnetic model, which describes the planet's magnetic field and is the basis for all modern navigation. From the systems that steer ships at sea to Google Maps on smartphones, the world's magnetic model is a representational model that is updated every five years and helps navigation systems match up with the real world. The last update came out in 2015, so this one is a little early. This is done on purpose to try to keep up with how fast the magnetic north is moving. The most recent version of the model came out in 2015 and was supposed to last until 2020. However, the magnetic field is changing so quickly that researchers need to fix the model now. Arnaud Chuliat, a geomagnetist at the University of Colorado Boulder and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Centers for Environmental Information says, the error is getting worse all the time. Part of the problem is that the North Pole is moving, and part is that there are other changes going on deep inside the planet. Most of the magnetic field comes from liquid moving around in the Earth's core. The magnetic field changes over time as the deep flows change. In 2016, for example, a part of the magnetic field temporarily sped up deep under northern South America and the eastern Pacific Ocean. Satellites like the Swarm mission of the European Space Agency were able to track the change. By early 2018, there were problems with the world magnetic model. Researchers from NOAA and the British Geological Survey in Edinburgh were doing their annual check to see how well the model was capturing all the changes in the Earth's magnetic field. They realized that it was so wrong that it was getting close to the limit for acceptable navigational errors. Wandering Pole It was an interesting situation we found ourselves in, says Chuliat. What is happening? Last month at a meeting of the American Geophysical Union in Washington, D.C., he said there are two parts to the answer. First, that geomagnetic pulse under South America in 2016 happened right after the world magnetic model was updated in 2015. This meant that the magnetic field had moved just after the last update in ways that planners hadn't thought of. Second, the problem got worse when the North Magnetic Pole moved. Since James Clark Ross was the first person to measure it in 1831 in the Canadian Arctic, explorers and scientists have been fascinated by how the pole moves in unpredictable ways. In the middle of the 1990s, it went from moving about 15 kilometers per year to 55 kilometers per year. By 2001, it had reached the Arctic Ocean. In 2007, Chuliat was part of a team that landed an airplane on sea ice to try to find the North Pole. In 2018, the pole moved across the international dateline into the Eastern Hemisphere. It is going straight for Siberia right now. When the magnetic field changes quickly, like at the North Pole, the errors in the model are bigger because of the way the field is shaped. Chuliat says that this area is more likely to make big mistakes because the pole is moving quickly. To fix the world magnetic model, he and his colleagues put in data from the last three years, including the geomagnetic pulse of 2016. He says that the new version should be correct until the next update, which is scheduled for 2023. Core questions. Scientists are still trying to figure out why the magnetic field is changing so quickly. Geomagnetic pulses, like the one in 2016, might be caused by hydromagnetic waves that come from deep in the Earth's core, and the fast movement of the North Magnetic Pole could be linked to a high-speed jet of liquid iron under Canada. Phil Livermore, a geomagnetist at the University of Leeds in the UK, said at the American Geophysical Union meeting that the jet seems to be spreading out and weakening the magnetic field beneath Canada, and that means that in a magnetic tug-of-war with Siberia, Canada is losing. Livermore says, the location of the North Magnetic Pole seems to be controlled by two large patches of magnetic field, one under Canada and one under Siberia. The Siberian patch is winning the contest. This means that geomagnetists around the world will have a lot to do for a long time. Scientists are just starting to figure out how the liquid iron in the Earth's core flows like jet streams, which could cause the changes. A report that came out in January in the journal Nature suggests that it might have something to do with hydromagnetic waves coming from the center of the Earth. Even though it won't be the first time Earth's magnetic field has switched directions, experts say it won't happen for hundreds to thousands of years. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the strange fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification you enjoy watching our content.
we upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.